this time of meeting, thus much the business is. Thinking by our late dear brother's death, our states to be disjoint and out of frame. Claudius. But now my cousin Hamlet and my son. A little more kin and less in kind. How is it that the clouds still hang on you? Good Hamlet, cast thy knighted color off. Tis not alone my inky cloak, good mother, nor customary suits of solemn black, nor windy suspiration of forced breath. No, nor the fruitful river in the eye, nor the dejected behavior of the visage, together with all forms, modes, shapes of grief that can denote me truly. 
they are actions that a man might play, but I have that within which passes show these but the trappings and the suits of woe. Tis sweet and commendable in your nature, Hamlet, to give these mourning duties to your father. But to persevere in obstinate condolement is a course of impious stubbornness, tis unmanly grief. We pray you, throw to earth this unprevailing woe and think of us as of a father. For let the world take notes. You are the most immediate to our throne, and with no less nobility of love than that which dearest father bears his son, do I impart toward you. And we beseech you, bend you to remain here in the cheer and comfort of our eye, our chiefest courtier, cousin, and our son. Let not thy mother lose her prayers, Hamlet. I'll pray thee, stay with us, go not. Stay with us, go not. I shall in all my best obey you, madam. Why, tis a loving and a fair reply. Madam, come. Tis gentle and unforced accord of Hamlet, it's smiling to my heart. This world. 
A little month ere the shoes were old With which she followed my poor father's body Married with my uncle My father's brother Within a month Within a month It is not, and I cannot come to good, but break my heart, for I must hold my tongue.
Hail to your lordship. Horatio. <laughs> oh, Horatio, I'm glad to see thee well. <laughs> but what is your affair? I came to see your father's funeral. I prithee, fellow student, do not mock me. I think it was to see my mother's wedding. Indeed. It followed hard upon. Thrift, thrift. The funeral baked meats did coldly furnish forth the marriage tables. What I met my dearest foe in heaven. What I seen that day. My father. Horatio, my father. Methinks I see my father. Where, my lord? In my mind's eye. I think I saw him yesternight. Saw so who? The king, your father. The king, my father? For God's love, let me hear. Where was this? Up on the platform. Up on the platform. I figure like your father. Arms at point, exactly. Cup, a pea. A pea is with a solemn march, goes slow and stately by. Thrice he walked by within its truncheon's length, and did not speak. Did you not speak to it? I did, but answer made it none. <sighs> Yet once, methought, it lifted up its head, and did address itself to motion like as it would speak. But even then the morning cock grew loud, and at the sound it shrank in haste away, and vanished. <sighs> Tis very strange. Tis true. I will watch tonight, and perchance will walk again. I warrant it will. My father's spirit in arms. All is not well. I doubt some foul play. Would the night will come? Till then, sit still, my soul. Foul deeds will rise. All the earth overwhelm them to men's eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My necessaries are embarked. Farewell. And sister, as the winds give benefit and convoy is assistant, do not sleep, but let me hear from you. Do you doubt that?
I shall the effect of this good lesson keep as watchmen to my heart. But, good my brother, do not, as some ungracious pastors do, show me the step and thorny way to heaven, wise like a puffed and reckless libertine, himself the primrose path of Delian treads, and wrecks not his own reed. Ah, fear me not. But ye are my father comes. Yet here, Laertes, aboard, aboard, for shame. Most humbly do I take my leave, my lord. Neither a borrower nor a lender be, for loan oft loses both itself and friend, and borrowing dulls the edge of husbandry. This above all, to thine own self be true. Farewell, farewell, my blessing season is in thee. Farewell. Farewell, Ophelia, and remember well what I have said to you. Tis in my memory locked, and yourself shall keep the key of it. This time forth, have you so slander a moment leisure as to give words or to speak with the Lord Hamlet? Look to it, I charge you. Come your ways. I shall obey, my lord.
What does this mean, my lord? The king doth wake tonight. The kettle drum and trumpet thus pray out the triumph of his pledge. Is it a custom? Hi, Marius. But to my mind, it is a custom more honored in the breach than in the observance. Mm. The air bites shrewdly. It is very cold. It is a nipping and an eager air. What hour now? I think it lacks of twelve. No, it is struck. Indeed. I heard it not. Mm. Well, it then draws near the season when the spirit tells us want to walk. Oh, Lord, it comes! Oh, angels and ministers of grace, defend us! I call thee, Hamlet, King! Father? Oh, answer me! It beckons you to come with it. It weighs me still. I'll follow thee! I will not go, my lord. Hold off your hands. He will not speak. I'll follow it. Or whither wilt thou leave me? Speak. I'll go no further. Mark me. I will. I am bound to hear. Mark me. i 
What you have seen tonight. Swear it. Swear it by my sword. In faith, my lord. Never to speak of you have seen tonight. How strange or odd to mirror I bear myself, as I hereafter perchance shall think me. This do swear. Time is out of joint. Oh, cursed by it, that ever I was born to set it right. There are more things in heaven and earth than you have dreamt of in your philosophy.
My Lord. My Lord. Do you know me? Ah, excellent. Well, you are a fishmonger. Not I, my lord. Then I wish you were so honest a man. For the sun beat maggots in a dead dog, being a god-kissing carrion. Have you a daughter? I have, my lord. Let her not walk in the sun. Conception is a gift. But as your daughter may conceive, friend, look to it. How say you by that? Still harping on my daughter. Yes? You knew me not first. I said I was a fishmonger. I was far gone. And truly, in my youth, I suffered much extremity for love. Very near this. My lord, I will take my leave of you. <laughs> you cannot, sir, take away from me anything that I would not more willingly part with all, except my life. Except my life. Except my life. Fare you well, my lord. His <laughs> tedious old fools. Ah, you seek the Lord Hamlet? There he is. God save you, sir. My honored lord. My most dear lord. Ha. My excellent good friends. Ah. Uh, how dost thou, Guildenstern? Rosencrantz? What have you deserved at the hands of fortune that she sends you to prison hither? Prison, my lord? Uh, we think not so. Oh, why then, tis none to you. To me it is a prison. Why? Then your ambition makes it one. Tis too narrow for your mind. I could be bounded in a nutshell. I call myself a king of infinite space, were it not... I have bad dreams. But by a beaten way of friendship, what make you here? To visit you, my lord. No other occasion. Were you not sent for?
What is man? His chief good and market of his time be but to sleep and seed? A beast. No more. Welcome, dear Rosengrans and Gildenstern. Something have you heard of Hamlet's transformation? So I call it. Sift nor the exterior nor the inward man resembles that it was. Good gentlemen, he had much talked of you, and sure I am two men there is not living to whom he more adheres. What it should be more than his father's dead, that thus hath put him so much from the understanding of himself, I cannot dream of. I entreat you both that you vouchsafe your rest here in our court to draw him unto your pleasures, and together whether aught to us unknown afflicts him thus, that opens lies within our remedy. Your visitation shall receive such thanks as fits a king's remembrance. We both obey. Thanks, Rosencrantz and gentle Guildenstern. This in obedience hath my daughter shown me. Gertrude, my dear Gertrude, he hath found the head and source of all your son's distemper. I doubt it is no other than the main. His father's death and our o'er hasty marriage. Came this from Hamlet to her? Good madam, stay a while. I will be faithful. Ophelia, walk you here. Read upon this book. My liege and madam, to expostulate what majesty should be, what duty is, why day is day, night, night, and time is time, were nothing but to waste night, day, and time. Therefore, since brevity is the soul of wit, more matter with less art. To the celestial and my soul's idol, the most beautified. Ophelia. Doubt thou the stars of fire. Doubt that the sun doth move. Doubt truth to be a liar, but never, never doubt. I love. O oh dear Ophelia, I am ill at these numbers. I am ill at these numbers. I have not art to reckon my groans, but I love thee best. Oh, most best. Believe it. Adieu. Thine henceforth, whilst this machine is to him. Hamlet. That's an ill phrase. A vile phrase. Beautified is a vile phrase! with less art. Madam, I swear, I use no art at all. That he is mad. Tis true, tis true, tis pity, and pity tis. Tis true, a foolish thing he is Figure out he is mad. He is mad. He is mad. But farewell it, for 
use no art. The ferrophilia. Nymph in thy arsons. Be all my sins remembered. My lord. How does your honor for this many a day? I humbly thank you, well, well. My lord, I have remembrances of yours. You may 
powers. Restore him. What a piece of work is a man. How noble in reason. How infinite in faculties. The beauty of the world. The paragon of animals. And yet to me, what is the quintessence of dust? A man delights not me, no, nor woman neither. It were better my mother had not borne me. No more. No more.
actors are come hither. The actors are come hither. Welcome, masters. Welcome, you all. I'm glad to see thee well. Mm. Welcome, good friends. Creatures sitting in a play have by the very cunning of the scene been struck so to the soul that presently. speech and be not to tame neither. Suit the action to the word and the word to the action. Go, make you ready. My lord, what is your cause of this temper? Sir, I like it. advancement. <laughs> Would you play upon this pipe? My lord, I cannot. I pray you. Believe me, I cannot. I do beseech you. I know no touch of it, my lord. I have not the skill. <laughs> it's as easy as lying. Oh, I look at you now. How unworthy a thing you make of me. You would play upon me. You would pluck out the heart of my mystery. Splat! Do you think I'm easier to be played on than this pipe? Tell me what instruments you like, though you can't threaten me. 
Yet you cannot play upon me! What ho, Horatio? Here, sweet lord, at your service. Horatio, thou art e'en as just a man as e'er my conversation cope with all. My dear lord. Nay, do not think I flatter. There's a play tonight before the king, but one scene of it comes near the circumstance which I have told thee of my father's death. I pray thee, when thou seest that act afoot, observe my uncle. If his occulted guilt do not itself unkennel in one speech, it is a damn ghost we have seen. I must be idle. I'll go get you a place. Ophelia, I do wish that your good beauties be the happy cause of Hamlet's wilderness. So shall I hope your virtues will bring him to his wonted way again, to both of your honors. Madam, I wish it may. Be the players ready. Be the players ready. Come hither to me, my dear Hamlet. Sit by me. No, good mother. Here is metal more attractive. Oh, oh. Did you mark that? Lady, shall I lie in your lap? No, my lord. I mean, uh, my head upon your lap. I, my lord. Do you think I meant country matters? I think nothing, my lord. Ah, what a fair thought to lie between maids' legs. You're merry, my lord. Who, I? I, my lord. What should a man do but be merry? For look you how cheerfully my mother looks, and my father died within two hours. Nay, tis twice two months, my lord. Ha! Huh, so long! <laughs> they then, let the devil wear black. Uh, bid the players make haste! The best actors in the world. What do you call the play? Mm, the mousetrap. Mousetrap. This play is the image of a murder done in Vienna. Ah, poisons in my garden for the state. Your Majesty and we that have free souls, it touches us not. <laughs> Let the gall jade winds, our withers are unwrung. <laughs> Uh, you should see Anand. 
how the murderer gets the love of Gonzago's wife. Fire. How fierce, my lord? Give me some Give light. Give me some light! Give me some light! Away! Light! Light! <laughs> Oh, may be well. 
Now what I do it, now I also bring and now I'll do it. And so I'll go to heaven and I am revenged. And am I then revenged to take you in the purging of his soul when he is fit in season for his passage? No. No. My words fly up. My thoughts remain below. Words without thoughts never to heaven go. I will come straight, pray you, be round with him. I'll warn you, fear me not. Fear me not. Ah, withdraw, withdraw. I'll silence me even here. Look, you lay home to him. Hamlet. Hamlet. Now, mother, what's the matter? Hamlet, thou hast thy father much offended. Mother, you have my father much offended. Come, come, you answer with an idle tongue. Go, go, you question with a wicked tongue. Have you forgotten me? No, not so. You are the queen. Your husband's brother's wife. And were it not so, you are my mother. Nay then, I'll say those to you that can speak. You go not. Until I send you a glass, I can see the inmost part of you. What wilt thou do? Thou wilt not murder me. Help! What ho? Oh. Help! Oh. I'm now a rat! Oh. Dead for a two cat dead! What, what, what have you done? Is it the king? Is it the king? What a Russian bloody deed is this? A bloody deed? Almost as bad as. Kill a king and marry with his brother. As kill a king? As kill a king? Oh, leave wringing off your hands. Peace. Sit you down. And let me wring out your heart.
and patches. What would your gracious figure? Alas, he's mad. Coinage of your brain. Huh. This bodiless creation mm. ecstasy is very cunning in. Hi. Ecstasy. And my pulse has yours. That Hamlet will keep time. Oh, Hamlet. Thou hast left my heart in twain. Oh. Throw away the words who parted with it. And live the pure with the other half. Good night. For this same Lord, I do confess. I must be cruel, only to be kind. Thus bad begins. Worst remains a sphere behind. Come, sir. The draw toward an end with you. Good night, good mother.
What Gertrude? How does Hamlet? Mad. Mad as the sea and the wind when both contend which is mightier. And in this brainless apprehension kills the unseen good old man. Oh, heavy deed. It had been so with us had we been there. His liberty is full of threats to us all. To you, yourself, to us, to everyone. Friends both, go join you with some further aid. Hamlet in madness hath Polonius slain. Now, Hamlet, where's Polonius? In heaven. <laughs> Sent hither to see if your messengers find him not there. Seek for him in the other place yourself. Make haste! Farewell, dear mother. Thy loving father, Hamlet. My mother. Father and mother is man and wife. Man and wife is one flesh. So, my mother. Make haste. <laughs> For everything is sealed and done. The present death of Hamlet! Do it! From this time forth, my thoughts be bloody or be nothing worth. He is dead and gone. it all with sweet flowers. Conceit upon a father.
each toy seems prologue to some greater miss. O oh, thou vile king, give me my father! Calmly, good Laertes. That drop of blood that's calm proclaims me, bastard! What is the cause, Laertes, that thy rebellion looks so giant-like? Where is my father? Dead. But not by him. How came he dead? <sighs> Let come what comes. Only I'll be revenged most brutally for my father. I'm guiltless of your father's death and most sensibly in grief for it. And so have I a noble father lost, a sister driven into desperate terms. But my revenge will come. If it be so, Laertes, as how should it be so, how otherwise, will you be ruled by me? I, my lord, so you will not overrule me to a piece. To thine own peace, I will work him to an exploit. Under the witch, he shall not choose. And for his death, no wind of blame shall breathe And call it accident Practice 
on your cunnings an hour of quite shortly shall we see till then in patience our proceeding be
stained its snatches a whole lot. As one incapable of her own distress. But long it could not be till that her garments have with their drink pulled the poor wrench from her melodious lay to muddy death. Alas then, too much water hast thou, poor Ophelia, and therefore I forbid my tears. What man dost thou dig it for? For no man, sir. Oh, what woman then? For none either. Who is to be buried in? One that was a woman, sir. But rest her soul, she is dead. A spade, a spade, for and a shrouding sheet. Oh, a bit of clay, a bit of clay, a bit of clay, for to be made, for such a guest. That skull had a tongue in it. I could sing once. How the knave jolted to the ground as if it were Cain's jawbone that did the first murder. the sweet farewell I hope I should have been my Hamlet's wife I thought thy bride bed to have begged sweet maid not have strewed thy grave
fall ten times on that cursed head, whose wicked deed thy most ingenious sense deprived thee of. Hold off a while, till I have caught her once more in mine arms. What? The fair Ophelia. Hamlet. The devil take thy soul! Of risk! Not ah. the sun, I loved Ophelia. Forty thousand brothers. Good night with all their quantity of love make up my sum. Hold off your hand. I will fight him upon this thief until my eyelids no longer wag. Oh, my son. <sighs> Cabo Mue and Thog will have his day. Your Lordship is right welcome back. I humbly thank you, sir. My Lord. His Majesty bade me signify to you that he has laid a great wager on your head. You're not ignorant of what excellence Laertes is? No, I dare not confess that. The King, sir, has laid, sir, that in dozen passes between yourself and him, he shall not exceed your three hits. And it would come to immediate trial if your lordship would vouchsafe the answer. I'll win for him. If I can, if not, I'll gain nothing but my shame and the odd hits. Now the king brings to Hamlet. Come, begin. And you, the judges, bear a wary eye. Come on, sir. Come on, my lord. Ah! 
One! No! <laughs> ah, judgment! It a very palpable hit. Hamlet, this pearl is thine, here to thy help. Now, uh, I'll play this bow first. Set it by a while. Come on. What do you buy that? A touch, a touch, I do confess it. Hamlet, the queen. Carouses to thy fortune. Your truths do not drink. I will, my lord. I pray you, pardon me. It is the poison cup. It is too late. Oh, he's count of breath. Hamlet, here. Take my napkin. Rub thy bow. At you now. They bleed on both sides. Oh. Oh. How is it, my lord? Look to the queen there. She, oh. she swoons to see them bleed. No, uh. no. the drink, the drink, the drink, Hamlet. I am poisoned. No medicine can do thy good. The treacherous instrument is in thy hand, unbated uh, and envenomed. Oh, the foul practice had turned itself on me. Lo, here I lie, never to rise again. Exchange forgiveness with me. 
noble Hamlet. The king. The king's to blame. The point in Venom too. Then Venom. Yeah. 